What color should you wear to stay cool on a sunny day? White, we think, because we know that this color absorbs little solar radiation. In many hot countries, however, locals wear dark colors. In the Sinai Desert, for example, Bedouins also dress in black or blue. Why? Things are not that simple. The color of a surface determines the amount of light it absorbs. The darker it is, the more light it absorbs, and therefore light energy, which is transformed into heat. When the sun is high in the sky, almost 1,000 watts per square meter reach the ground, and a black object absorbs up to 90% of this energy. On the other hand, we must also consider the way in which an object loses energy by emitting radiation. All bodies emit radiation, and the hotter they are, the more they emit. Now, good absorbers are also good emitters. White, which absorbs less than black, also emits much less. Conversely, black, which absorbs a lot, also emits a lot. In the case of a surface at room temperature, about 500 watts per square meter. Desert nomads wear black clothes for this reason. They radiate heat away from the body more efficiently and because of convection. People who live in really hot places do not wear tight or tailored clothes, but loose-fitting garments that allow maximum air circulation. A warmer, dark suit heats the air inside it. This warmer, less dense air rises and exits through the porous fabric, while the colder, heavier outside air enters the garment through its open bottom. The black fabric therefore increases the circulation of air under the garment, and ultimately the Bedouin heats up less than a person in a white suit. This makes him feel better. He has a continuous breeze flowing along his body. Upward convection through a warmer black garment is greater than through a cooler white garment.